Is the holiday season stressing you out? Don't let it. We have some holiday planning tips for you. Hey, Chips and Salsa here. Hey. If we're just meeting, we are two homeschool moms that work together and we provide just fun, encouraging tips for you, the homeschool mom or dad. And we hope you enjoy our videos. Hit that subscribe button right now and hit the little bell so that you get notified every time we release a video. All right, well today's video is all about holiday planning and making the holidays smooth and not stressful. It's the holiday season. I don't know that song. And, you know? No, but the weather outside is frightful. It's <laughs> 85 degrees. Oh my God. <laughs> We wanted to talk to you about planning around the holidays because it's tricky and I think it's the first year that I feel like I'm consciously making a plan around the holidays. I usually just kind of get all stressed out and force my kids to work as hard as they can and then I'm all stressed and um, this year I really decided, no, 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 okay, let's really look at how much time we need off. Yeah, how we can do it better. Because mm -hmm. after Thanksgiving, you got what a month right. of school and then another two week break and then this new year and I don't know about everybody but we're we're involved in our church a lot my husband's a pastor and we have so <laughs> many functions it's ridiculous during the holidays yeah yeah well in my case I have a bunch of family that comes over Thanksgiving. oh yeah and that's a lot of work yeah, and it wiped me out. And so originally, at the beginning of the year, I had said, we're going to do Thanksgiving and we're going to take the next week off so that I can recuperate. Mm -hmm. And then you didn't? Well, and then I thought, oh, no, no, I think I'm going to just keep doing school. And then Monday came and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up taking it off anyway, with the exception of like co-op and, you know, off-ish because they read and they they did a couple of things but it wasn't like a structured go 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 week yeah so that brings us to tip number one don't have your full schedule don't plan to do everything and start all kind of new projects you're gonna do your math and you're gonna do some kind of language arts but you don't have to do all the science projects that right. you were gonna do and you don't have to do all the history lessons what was really great is our co-op were doing a writing assignment so we finished our book and we didn't plan to do a book in December because we already knew we already that know. was not going to be a good idea <clears throat> but they have a writing assignment so we're just letting them work on that a little bit instead of introducing some new concept or, yeah, yeah new project yeah. they can just work on their writing assignment for language arts yeah, so it's okay to put things on hold. We put history and science on hold completely yeah. since Thanksgiving. Tip number two, plan fun stuff around the holidays. Yeah, because that's what you want to do is fun stuff. Yeah. Like? I actually planned a fun STEM activity, like cutting oh, yeah, snowflakes. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. <laughs> cutting snowflakes, which was a fail, but it was fun. Um, and then I did, instead of them doing just the regular math facts, I had them do the secret puzzles where they color in the answer. Mm -hmm. And it's Christmas themed. And so for history, this week we're going to do Christmas around the world. So we got a bunch of books at the library. They're just going to research and write about it. Field trips. Do some field trips. Yeah, we went to Knott's Berry Farm, and which it was, was so fun. Well, Knott's Merry Farm, because it was Mary Christmas Farm. themed. And that was a really fun field trip, actually. Yeah. It was educational, but then we rode the rides and contracted hand, foot, mouth disease. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst. Anyway, but um, so yeah, doing a lot of field trips during this time, it's a great time to do field trips. And it's a great time to do outings, like a fun yeah. park day, like we did that, that yes. day. Um, we did some school together just to kind of break out of the routine. And we're going to do our co-op. Too. Our co-op is going to be singing Christmas carols at the Children's Hospital. We're yes. so excited about that. Yeah. Which brings us to tip number three. I think it's a good time to teach our kids to focus on others during the oh, holiday absolutely. season. We can get really carried away <laughs> with shopping and 
everything we 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 have to do and it's so important that we take time to really serve our community yeah our church does a really huge outreach called toys for joy every year and we just served at that this last weekend and the kids got to be there praying for people got to see people who were obviously in need and be able to be a blessing to our community and that's teaching them values life skills compassion just priceless things absolutely so learning doesn't have to always be just the books tip number four life skills life skills is learning baking making presents decorating shopping budgeting budgeting my kids want to do secret santa this year with each other and i'm excited for them so they have a ten dollar budget i don't know how i'm going to take everybody individually shopping <laughs> But apparently I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> yeah, but it's a great time to do, you know, like you said, baking. You can get a lot of math from baking, you know, making, mm -hmm. doubling a recipe or cutting it in half. Mailing, like she, my kids are helping me with our, with our Christmas cards. Oh, yeah. And then mailing that out. Gift wrapping. That's a skill. That is a skill. But everything from thinking about the gifts, making a list, checking Check it, it twice. twice. <laughs> Making a list for people and really seeing what you're going to get them and then going shopping. You know, just, just really thinking about your budget and what you need to buy is a life skill as yeah, well. Yeah, I think when we're thinking this is teaching them, we could take it a step further. We can really, you know, take those moments to teach them and, and, and pour into them. And if we weren't thinking, oh, this is school you're more likely to say, get out of my kitchen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we read a really great article from Hip Homeschool Moms. Which we'll post on Facebook. Yeah, Hip Homeschoolers. And it talks about great reasons for not doing school in December. And they really were great reasons. Yeah. I liked her article. And I also liked in the comments where a lot of people were concerned. We've already taken so much time off. Or I have high schoolers. They're going to get behind. And she really encouraged them that... We do more than the public school does. We finish our books, right, for one thing, right. which a lot of schools don't end up finishing their books by the end of the school year. And we go in depth. And we do. Yeah. And that there's so much other learning that is taking place. And when we give our kids time off, they really spend it doing creative things. And I've seen that. The important thing to keep in mind is that we homeschool 365 days a year. You never stop learning. So, Absolutely. So homeschool is, like you said, it's not just math and English. We're learning about life. Well, we hope that these tips helped you kind of process what you're going to be doing for December and help you to feel a little more at ease if you don't get everything checked off. So comment down below and let us know what you're thinking, what you're feeling, or what you do to make the holiday planning go smoothly and to enrich your children's education. Yes, and don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video. So we have a little song parody for you about holiday planning. You ready? Yes. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. The holidays are coming to town. You'll be making a list, you'll be checking it twice But you better not stress cause it doesn't feel nice But the holidays are coming real soon <laughs> They'll get their math from baking And they'll read three books or four And they'll even get some life skills When they clean that kitchen floor so there's no need to stress, there's no need to cry, and you can enjoy, I'm telling you why, we homeschool 365 days a year. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to share. Bye. Bye.